Hey guys, oh, have a missing day ever. Hey guys, so a huge challenge, another thing as being a special needs parent is ordering the right kind of equipment, transportation stuff. I mean, it's been a big journey for me. I had no clue what kind of special needs stuff was out there when I started ordering. And um, you know, the different types of strollers and the different types of wheelchairs that are out there. So today's video is gonna be a review of our favorite stroller that Sasha has had so our favorite stroller that we currently have is actually a special needs stroller, but it can be a jogging stroller. It's called an Adaptive Star. I'll leave the link down below. I'll show you it in a minute. So far, we've had three different types of special needs strollers. So I guess it's given me a little bit of a broad horizon to say that I like this feature, but I don't like this feature. Um, our first one was a tomato and some people highly love them. I was not a fan of that at all and I'll insert a picture of it right here. That one wasn't the best stroller. I just felt it was an oversized stroller, extremely highly priced. I liked none of the features. It was bulky, it was heavy. Um, I'm going to show you the other stroller that we have out there that I've had for a really long time for Sasha. Um, she's so big that she's extended the seat as far as she can and she can no longer have the canopy part. But it's a great, you know, if we're just going on a quick trip and we need something to put her in, we still use that. And then I also have a running stroller that has been my favorite for quite a few reasons. It's great on all terrain. It's super lightweight and I'm going to show you guys that stroller now. Also, when picking out a special needs stroller, I know that many people have, you know, different things that they want to have out of the equipment. Um, there's a couple of, like requirements for me that need to be met. Um, throughout the years, I found that just regular tires don't go through tall grass or all terrain. So that's why I really like this jogging stroller because they're very lightweight tires that you can just go blow up with an air pump and they can go over anything and you can run with it as well because Sasha loves to run and I'm really starting to get back into it slowly but surely with her so she loves to do that. Also another thing is I am six foot so handles on many of these special needs strollers don't extend or, or say like if you're supposed to be a woman at like 5'10 or under. So uh, also my son is six seven and he does push the stroller once in a while to help out. So finding a handle that was at a very high level is also a big deal for us. So sorry about me being in my shed. <laughs> Lang's not great, but this is where we store our strollers. And this is a stroller that I told you that Sasha's had since she's been probably three years old but she's gotten so big for it that the canopy part no longer fits on it and we do have a tray. But this one is super, super heavy duty and bulky. It was great when she was little, but the other one is a lot more lightweight. This one is actually called, if I can find the brand, a hoagie. And like I said, compared to our other one, this weighs twice as much. It's super comfortable for her, so we still kept around and just took off the canopy part. So all you have to do is take this back handle and I'm going to jinx myself. It clicks into place and you have these two sidebars that come up like this. And if I could bring it around, I'd show you. They have clips right here in the side that would just clip in and it's totally put together, ready to go. This is the stroller all completely set up now. And like again, it's called an adaptive star. Some of the cool features are that it has individual foot places with straps. It has a full harness that goes over the shoulders up through the legs. It does fully recline, which is really nice. This completely comes over like this. Most normal ones go a little bit and that's it. So if we are in the rain, she's almost fully protected. Another couple cool features are this. The fact that 
It has a zipper bag on the back. I love to put my keys and my wallet and my cell phone back here. Has a double cup holder, which is like great. I can put my water bottle here. Sasha can put her cup here. It has a huge, huge underneath basket. It has amazing brakes. All I have to do is click this on with my foot or there's actually a brake right here as well and that can stop it as well. And also, if I'm up here and about, this can fully recline, but I can also see Sasha right through here. So this is Sasha in it. Sasha is an extremely tall 10 year old. So as you can see, she comfortably fits in it. Lay back and show them what it's all about. So we really like this stroller. It's a top recommendation from us out of the three I think we've the dogs had. Like it. Yes. Oh, you want to go for a ride in it? Our dog is a little cold because the weather. She's a Sally dog. So I definitely highly recommend this out of three that we have chosen. I showed you the hoagie. I showed you the tomato and this one. And this is definitely by far our favorite so far. And also the wheels, super light super easy to just pump up with an air pump from Walmart or Target. We got ours for $10 and it's out in the shed. So the last and final really cool thing about this stroller is that Sasha's in the size two that they have. Like I said, I'll leave the link below where you can go and see what it's all about and if you'd like to purchase it. But they also have the next two sizes up. So they start from a really small size from a child who is smaller than Sasha one that is longer than Sasha. And then you can also get one, I think their maximum weight for their biggest stroller is up to 280 pounds. So I could even ride in the stroller if I needed to. And they're super lightweight and they come with tons of features also that other strollers have not come with. They come with um, weatherproof um, canopies, they come with bug nets, they come with a super amount of attachments. Some strollers have come with some type of attachment, but like if you want to go crazy and get every, they have little clipper lights even you can put on this shoulder if you want to run with it in the dark. So I highly recommend this. I think Sasha's cat also likes the stroller. <laughs> what do you think? I think he likes I know. I think he's going to go for a ride in your shoulder. He might like it. He was also resting in the basket before, but I told him, I think you can't sleep in the basket part. Mom? Yes. Can I give him for a ride? You're going to take him for a ride? Yes. Yeah. Silly goose. What? Hey guys, have, have a fantastic night.